all right hello virgo welcome back to my channel this is your next 48 this is episode 10 and 11 this is for virgo um sun moon rising in the north node yes i've been absent i had to um regroup all right so let's see all right virgo sun moon rising and the north node what are the messages please important ones for you virgo sun okay first part we have is the hierophant we have the high priestess and then we have the full card okay so uh we have all majors coming out for you virgo i'm getting you're doing something new i'm getting it is something spiritual i'm getting it's a new thought or a new idea or just a new way of thinking all right, let's see. I'm getting to you're letting go of something religious, a religious belief, a religious ideology, a sect, a doctrine, something of that nature. I'm getting you're spilling the beans is what I'm hearing. All right, what is the full card? And I'm getting it is a big deal. We have all majors coming out, but I'm getting a major life change or you're doing something just completely out of the ordinary or very unusual. All right, let's see. What's the full I'm getting two people are telling you their secrets. Okay, yeah, we have the, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely about speaking and teaching. And we have the Magician, a lot of majors coming out. So I'm getting, I'm getting somebody that you are not expecting to speak to you. They're going to speak to you first and foremost. There's going to be a conversation, an intellectual one. I'm getting during that conversation, someone is going to uh, reveal their secrets to you or something is going to be revealed to you about something. Yeah, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, so I'm getting... All right, and we have the moon card. Yeah, definitely a secret coming out or something. Are you are discovering a secret about yourself or about the way that you teach, the way that you speak, or the way that you speak to people? All right, so this could be this this could be uh, Virgo. You realizing that you um maybe that you use like verbal daggers or um I don't know. This I'm I'm, get, I'm getting something about like you frightening people. Let's see what this is. What's the hierophant? I feel like you're going to you're going to learn why you're stuck or why people are afraid to approach you or something. What is the uh this is the hierophant? I'm getting I'm hearing to be careful what you wish for. And what is the high priestess? Yeah, exactly. So I'm getting a lot of magic being done. We have the ace of pentacles. Okay, so we have a new opportunity presenting itself. I'm getting a lot of a lot of conflict, chaos, or inner inner turmoil with you, with your beliefs, with how you how like I, I feel like this is about how you look at magic and what you believe magic to be, what you believe witchcraft to be. Now you could be explaining this to somebody else, explaining this to other people. What's the five of wands? Okay, we have the six. Of, okay, it's about your past. It's about, it's about your memories. So I'm getting, I'm getting you are remembering something or something is coming to the surface about your past or your childhood. But I'm getting like it's causing conflictions or it's causing confusion in the way that you think. You're like, okay, I don't, I'm not sure if I should do this. Because I'm kind of getting you're torn between uh, religion and spirituality. But I feel like you're better at what, like... Witchcraft is what you like to do, but I'm getting like, you know, you grew up spiritual. I mean, not spiritual, but you grew up religious and I'm getting you're still torn. You're not really sure which you're not really sure how to feel about the whole magic thing is what I'm seeing here. What is the Ace of Wands? Yeah, we have the Six of Swords and we have the Two of Swords. Interesting. Okay. I'm also getting too Virgo. You're having you're having trouble remembering a certain person or a certain time in your life. I'm getting I'm getting age five is very important. Like when you were around the age of five. What's the five of wands and the six of cups? I'm getting something about uh, the age of five or six is very important to you. It's very significant. It's something that you need to meditate on. What's the five of wands and the six of cups? Yeah, we have the six of pentacles. So double six is coming out. I'm also getting two child support. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups and then we have the Chariot. Okay. 
I'm, I'm getting I'm getting you are moving on from a certain part of your past, a certain part of your childhood. I'm getting like the memories are very vague. You can't remember, you can't remember like certain parts of your childhood. It's like it's blacked out or it's very blurry. But I'm, I'm getting something about you being in a vehicle or you being taken away. I'm also getting too Virgo, you are being patronized because people, I'm getting past life regression or people want answers about their past lives and for some reason they're, they're coming to you. Somebody is paying you for this service. What is this combination? It's like you're trying to remember something about a Cancerian or Scorpio. All right, let's see. Or something about your past. All right, let's see here. Okay, this okay, the six of wands. We have three sixes coming out. Okay, so that's six, 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 the mark of the beast. But the sixes are gifts. All right, so let's see. We have the we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and we have the World card. I'm getting it something about singing. I'm getting I'm getting around the age of five or six. I'm getting the age of six. There's something very significant here that you have like that you can remember. Maybe you start singing when you were the age of six. Maybe you used to make up songs. Maybe you used to write songs. Maybe at the age of six was the first time that you heard somebody sing or that you start singing something like that. But there's some type of completion behind your memories here. Getting something about your voice, Virgo. I'm getting like you, you, okay, let's see. I'm hearing when, when I was a kid or when I, when I grew up, I want to be a singer. I want to be, I want to be an artist. I'm hearing that. What is this combination? So we have four sixes. We have all the, we have all the six just showing up in your reading. So I'm getting, I'm getting four corners. Something about your birth charts. We have the world card here. So something is complete. I'm getting something regarding your memory or, to, or remembering some someone or something. What is this combination? I'm getting you have planets. You have planetary bodies in, influencing the four sixes. So the six of wands, six of pentacles, six of cups, and the six of swords. I'm getting check your birth chart because... There, there's something about that that's very significant. There's like some type of enclosed, some type of sect or something. What is this right here? We have four sixes. All right, so let's, okay, we have the Knight of Swords. We have the Lover's card. Yeah, I'm getting, okay, we have the Ten of Swords. All right. So we have Gemini showing up twice. That's Apollo. All right, so messages from your exes is what I'm getting. Or random thoughts about your exes or something about remembering your exes yeah we have the hangman this is combination I'm I'm getting Virgo something significant about your exes four of them I'm not really sure what that means for you but I'm getting there's there's four people that you have dated in your past you need to remember something about these people or you are trying to, or you're trying to gain a better understanding of how you met them, why you dated them, why are they significant to you, why are they in your life, like what's the point, why, why are you guys here, what is this combination? So I'm getting this reading is all about your memory, or, or recollection, or past life regression, it's like you're trying to, something's trying to, come, something's trying to come to the surface, or the forefront of your mind, what is this? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, the Star, and we have the King of Pentacles. All right. I'm getting Virgo in your past life. You were a celebrity, a big one. I'm getting in your past life, Virgo, you were a singer, a big star. And I'm getting that significant to you now. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune, your birth chart coming up. Yeah, I'm getting, there's something about your birth chart you need to study or you need to realize. And I'm getting it, it's having to do with the men that, with men you have dated or women you have dated in your past. I'm getting there, is, there are four significant people that you have dated that you need to make a connection. I'm getting your birth chart is going, your birth chart has the answers. I'm getting the four corners. So 
Maybe you have the six of pentacles, six of wands, six of swords or something like that. I'm getting it's very imperative that you check your birth chart. Okay, four sixes. Let's, I'm going to pull an oracle card for you as well. North node, south node. Okay, let's see. All right, we have patience, geomancy. Okay, so geomancy is being able to divine or use, uh, um, it's being able to divine using earth. You can use clay, you can use salt, you can use sand, you can use rocks, but I'm getting you have this ability, Virgo. I'm getting you're a natural mystic. I'm getting you are a diviner naturally. I'm getting you can use all forms of divination here. But there's something you need to be patient and you need to wait. I'm hearing clay as well. Something about clay or something about time, an hourglass or something about the hours. I feel like you need to look up the word hour and you need to study that word extensively. I'm not sure why I'm hearing that, but I'm hearing that for you. Okay. I'm getting to the final hour. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this helps you. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.